Hello, hello. Welcome, everybody. Hello, Sel guys. Hello, Nina san. How are you guys doing? Um, hello, hello. Uh, so, yeah, today is going to be another development stream. Uh, so, last time, let me see. Last time we finished Back for Mercy skill. Also, I need to, to commit all of that into the repository. One second. Yeah, we changed Back for Mercy significantly. And I forgot to save all of that, but yeah, I'll do that in a moment. Yeah, Back for Mercy is now... Yeah, it still cannot be used uh, while using the weapon. Um, but now it can only be used when your health is below 20% and you have zero rage. Applies the sympathy effect for 5 seconds and we scale that over the levels, plus 0.5 seconds per level. Uh, while under the sympathy effect, the target cannot attack you. Uh, dealing any damage to the target breaks the sympathy effect. Uh, I forgot to, not, not forgot, but I didn't test it yet uh, for uh, the mice, basically for the monsters. This is where I finished the last stream. But also I did a small change, I made soul strike generate rage wait let me pin the columns this one and this one yeah now soul strike gives you one rage when you use it wait one second let me first finish back for mercy Yeah, yeah, yeah. So bag for back for mercy skill reworked. In the meantime, we can already start our server. Also, I now remember what I wanted to do. So, back for mercy, for player characters has has uh, sixteen hundred range range, but um, the sympathy scale for monsters, I believe that one has less range. sympathy yeah 1000 range so let's do the same range range also for NPC skills let's see NPC skills yeah mice have 15 um, 500 range range why do I keep trying to say range? Uh, but yeah, this should be unlimited, so it limits only by the skill range. So let me save that as well. OK. 
Okay. Oh, and we changed the icons a little bit. All uh, right, this thing cannot render the JS files. Sure. Change the ghost icon, we change the soul icon. Yes. Save that. Now what is one seven skill? One seven an unexpected hit. What what did we do to an expected hit? Oh that's um the aura icon, okay. Second, I'm just, I, I just want to finish saving everything because before we continue, and then 17 for that monster scale, 17, 40. Sympathy scale, okay. Wait, sympathy skill. Let me take a look. Mm hmm. Yeah, okay. And one eight. What is that one? Skill icon one eight. That slap. Ah, yeah, yeah, I remember. Okay, so That one, and we also have slap icon, slap skill icon, dated. Okay, we have that. Should have done that off stream, but yeah, I didn't have enough time. So sorry, guys. Gonna do that right now. Now script changes, okay, and the last thing is the server. So we did update this formula, but we still need to test this properly. And also I have an idea how we can improve that a little further. So originally I changed um, source hit, hit rate and target hit rate difference. Uh, in the hit chance calculation, I divided that difference by two to reduce um, too high of a difference on the higher levels, but that basically nullified any um, hit rate changes on lower levels, which is not good. So I have an idea how we can improve that. We'll do that today, um, but one sec. Let me take a look what else we did. Yeah, we created back for mercy handler. Let's save that. This is important. Uh, 
Now it includes all the checks. So yeah, health should be greater than zero and 20%, no more than 20%. And also there should be no rage. So this is our handler. Yeah, so then we have this thing and we have sympathy handler, which is now cancels the skill. It works correctly for players and I think it will work correctly for the monsters as well. So let's save that. But yeah, we, we need to check that uh, how it works with the monsters. So sympathy. Empathy handler updated to file the skill instead of uh, making the skill miss. Okay. So yeah, we we have that six word engine module. All of that is good. And yeah, this thing, this thing needs to be tested properly. Okay. <clears throat> So yeah, let's load into the game finally. Gonna compile the files just in case I forget to do that uh, last time. And also we need to open the calculators. So which player is going which character is going to test this? Let's do Venture 15. Also, yeah, I need to finally create all these proper levels for all the characters and for like learn all the skills. Uh, set the weapons, equipment, so I can properly test all the different levels of the characters. But yeah, here we have our calculator that we're gonna use in a moment. Yeah, let's go test gray field mouse skills. <clears throat> this is actually supposed to be a melee adventurer I need it to be magic so uh yeah for classes that can have like multiple builds like a mage or uh not mage that, that have basically that could have different types of weapons i'm going to unlock additional weapons the problem is i don't remember the commands
Double your size. Two. Okay, we'll unlock the slot. Creates new weapon instance in the character's inventory. Type ID. What's the type ID for a search stick? I think that was four. But let me double check. No, it was three. Okay. Yeah, I didn't learn source stick mastery, so let's go grab that one. Oh, also, I uh, off stream I uh, debug the client, and I actually managed to find and fix that crash that we were having at the end of the previous stream that didn't allow me to. <clears throat> use uh, adventure properly, test adventure. Okay, let's go get the skill. Yeah, let's learn everything basically, including the sword mastery. Because that one doesn't stand in the way. It's just something that we're not gonna use. Okay, here are all the skills I learned. That's good. Oh, uh, crap, I need to train the skill before leveling it. Skill X. 10,000 For a sword stick master it's this one Wait why didn't that work? No. Oh. Nice. Have that and this. Okay, so we have all the skills here. Let's save. Go back to Prantera. I didn't need this one, but okay. Adventurer. Everything that's up to our level should be learned. Uh, hello, Black Beverage. <laughs> and over your helmet. Well, well, you would have to wait. Yeah, we learned everything here. So this is sword mastery. Wait. Sword mastery level three. What? Ah, okay. Sword Master is AD3. Okay. Uh, 
And third, stick mastery is the second one. That's next one. Okay, and we get rid of these ones. Really sexy cat. Yeah. So, uh, let's set up the weapon here. Oh, we need to set the name. Use it and set two. Okay, good. We don't have any equipment, but it's gonna be fine for now. Let's save here and let's go finally test. Um, actually, we have some mice right here, I believe. Yeah, here they are. So what do we need? Uh, we need to learn the stats. Something like that. And we need the skills. So let's put quick strike, soul strike, phantom strike. And for now it's gonna be fine. Actually I needed to put that into the slot number two. But okay. So I needed to use Appeal Sympathy. Crap. Now it's inv invisible. Actually, I don't remember. Do they actually have Appeal Sympathy skill? Like these specific ones. Because probably not. Come on, use the skill. Maybe they don't have the skill. Okay, maybe they don't. Let me see. Uh, NPC skills. Gray field mouse. Yeah, looks like they don't. Huh. Okay. Then we need to... Then we need to go to the actual gray field mouse. test it there.
crap. I hit it right before it entered the invisible mode. Also, I'm using a wrong weapon. Oh, here we go. So, wait, 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 crap. Crap. Uh. I wanted to let let it do whatever it wants to but I can't So, we need to test two things, actually. One is after it casts uh, this uh, Disciple Sympathy skill, we need to make sure that we cannot use any skills on it. And to do that, we need to keep, uh, keep some distance away from it. So let that, let's test that. When it does cast something, but wait, um, when it does when it does close the distance and hit us with something, then that skill should be gone. I think this is already what just happened, but we need to test the actual skill first. Come on. Use the skill. This is ridiculous. We get so lucky with the first mouse and then... What the hell? Okay, then whatever. Let's test on a different mouse. Uh, 
Okay, they are still doing that, which is annoying. Come on, this is ridiculous. Okay, whatever, I'm going to just increase the chances of the skill to, let's do 100%, just to test how that works, because, yeah, this is really annoying. Okay, where are all of them? Here is one. Okay, did use the scale, so now... Yeah, my scale fails. Maybe we can even increase the, the, the duration. Now I need to test another thing. Now I need to test the same skill. But when it hits um, our character, the service should be gone. Come on! Oh my god, this is so stupid. Train away. Okay. 
Okay, now we have the aura, and yes, as soon as it hits us... Everything becomes good, okay. So that works, it's just maybe we, we can increase uh, the duration of this kill. Because at the moment it's, it's not very long. So what's the duration? So for players, it's from 5 seconds up to 10 seconds, right? For monsters... For monsters... Uh, where is it? Where is it? Scale... Action status effects... It's 10 seconds, okay. Yeah, I think it's fine, but maybe we can create multiple levels, but that's gonna be for later. For now, it's totally okay. Let's revert the changes back. Okay. So we tested that. Also another skill that I wanted to test is combo attack. But I don't remember... Like, wolves have the combo attack, but I don't remember which ones exactly. So let's see. Skill ID... Between this and... This. So this Gaster Cat, 2%. Level 20. Wolves. Brown wolves. And Thief Buck. No, Town Mouse. Let's test on the Town Mouse. That's gonna be the easiest one. Um, but it needs to be below 50% health. Mm. It also goes invisible. Let's do against your cat and let's temporarily set it to... Actually, no, wait, let's do this on the town mouse. It's just let's increase the chance to 100% so it's easier to test. Because I did change it a little bit. Combo attack. Oh yeah, I'm pretty sure I need to change this. So let's see how it looks like right now. But I'm pretty sure this needs to be just the skill delay without target effect delay. So let's do the adventure again. Why is it still in the... Oh. This client was running. I didn't notice. Um, but okay, yeah, level 12, sure. Let's go to Prantera. <clears throat> So there should be a bunch of mice down there. No, 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 no. Crap. Actually, I think I can use expert punching. 
I need rage for that. Oh, and I, I cannot use a weapon. Okay, never mind. Doesn't want to use combo attack for some reason. Oops. Wait, why doesn't it want to use the combo attack? Town mouse. There is only a single one of that. Oh, 50% health. Right, let's change that. Okay, where are they? Here we go. Ow. Okay, that works actually. But yeah, the, the effect is delayed. But okay, at least it works now. Yes, that works. That's nice. Oh my god. But yeah, target effect delay should be gone. Just skill delay is enough. Maybe even 300? No, 200 would be good enough. And we can revert this. And do that. Yeah, surprisingly, it does work correctly. Okay, we are good there. So, this needs to be saved on sec. Okay, and this is done. Then, guess we go and test the evasion rate. But first, I wanted to see how it works right now. Well, actually, I know how it works or works right now. So, we need to figure out how to change that in the way that it allows you to. I uh, use uh, dexterity and concentration early on and give, uh, get some benefit, but still limit it on the higher levels. So yeah, first of all, we need to get rid of this.
And another thing is I wanted to make the hit rate and evasion rate uh, gains per stats to be non-linear, but instead something like a defense formula or something. Uh, so let's see what we can do. Oh my god. This gave me a range here. Okay, good. And now here we need we need um hit rate per concentration. Yeah, right now it's exactly one concentration one one hit rate per one concentration. But instead, I wanted to make it a little bit more um, smart. Actually, no, I need this formula to divide by that value. So we receive the difference. Ah, no, not the difference, but the actual gain. No, 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 no. Uh, this needs to be this minus the previous one. So I need the gain. Wait, what? Wait, hit rate per concentration three. Ah, 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 I see what's, what's, what's going on. So here we need just a hit rate per concentration. So let's name it level, no, not level, con. This will be hit rate, uh, hit rate diff. So zero, zero, zero. Then this is just hit rate for the specified amount of con. Okay. And then this is going to be equals this minus this. Perfect. So now we can tweak this formula. Uh, hit rate per concentration. So, uh, I don't remember all the tricks that they had. So if we do 100 divided by one hundred four. So my goal is to have like when you just invest one concentration, it should give you like two hit rate points. Then around 50 concentration, it should slowly reduce to uh, like one concentration or oh, one hit rate per concentration. Then closer to 99, it should become like 0.5. So how do we do that? Um, oops. So 50 divided by 
51 is to divide it by 100.5 is to divide it by 100.5 so what if we do it this way concentration times oops times 2.0 and this should be 50 divided by this plus 50 So one point nine three one 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 wait what? Ah oh, it's it's still calculating. No, this is this is weird. Uh, there it is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I switch it to dark mode, I guess it doesn't have a dark mode. So uh y equals y equals x. This is the linear linear one. So what if we do So it should be this thing, I think, times two. Okay, it still gives 100 in the end, right? So if we invest 20, it will give 41. No, that's not good. That's not correct. So on 50, it gives 70.
Yeah, this this is not correct. This is too steep. So point nine? No. Okay, so one should give two. Okay, good. Then ten gives sixteen. Fifty. Okay, maybe this is what we need. Uh, where was that? So we do. Something like that. Actually, instead of this graph, what we can do is we can do minus x minus one. Here we will be able to see So at 100, one thirty six, around 50, that's 1.2. Yeah, this is still not correct. Yeah, it goes pretty drastically.
Okay, this is a little bit more like it. It's just... Now we need to incorporate that formula. So yeah, this is for two con it gives one point nine six for every two for every like on the twenty for the next one it will give one point six seven and fifty one 32, then it's reduced to 1 on 100, but now I need to convert this to a formula that will account for like the total amount. This is the change, this is good, but I need the total amount. And for that one, I need the power, right? And this is something that I wanted. Goes from two. It goes from two down to just one on level one hundred. But I need this implemented in a different way. I need like a sum of all of that. I don't remember how to do that. Because <clears throat> that's like a factorial or something of this expression. I don't remember how to do that, but it's probably the power of something. Oh, math. So this is linear times two. This is our starting point. And now we need, now we need, actually wait, two,
So the higher this value, the steeper it gets, right? I don't think I need the exponential. How do I do this? Like, how do I implement this, but per each. This is the difference per level. Uh, crap, my brain is not working. So this goes from 2 to 1.5. Actually, I need it to go I need it to go to 0.5, not 1.5. Ah, oh, wait, wait, wait. X times two. X minus one. Times two. So from one point nine three two. 1.5, This has to be more linear, so I, th I think power of something is not the correct thing to use here. Like the difference should be linear, but the sum should be exponential. Yeah.
This cell is crap. How do I convert this formula? I'm doing it. Mm, use some here functions, statistics. How do I use some on? Oh, here it is from n equals one to n equals y Wait, what? Actually, this is not correct. I need to use the 50. So from two to one and 50 point six and 100. Yeah, something like that. But this is per each difference. How do I calculate the sum in one normal formula?
so point seven one point zero seven one two zero zero four Hello, Del Dark. How are you doing? This has to be less steep. And hello, Black Beverage. Oh, wait. I already said hi. Sorry. Uh, so, point seven five. So this goes from 4.7 to 4.0. Okay, so here one point six point six point four two point four one point six about one point seven. One point nine seven point nine point seven. Still, I need it to be less steep.
So probably I need to move it even less. Point two four point one six one point seven. Hmm. Or two point six, two point three, I see. I, I think I know now how to do this. It's just we need to find a nice piece of this curve that we can just use. So, uh, point seven five, right? How do we stretch it again? Point four, 
point two. Seven two three two crap. So this is how we stretch it, right? This goes from four times five now times two. So from one point to point eight four two point four, one point eight, one point six. I don't think I'm doing all of this right. So I need I need to build this formula with the sum somehow. I don't remember how to do that. Um but yeah, this needs to be a sum. So this let's do one from one to y y plus n. No, wait, wait, wait. Not y. x times n. What?
from what? Ah, oh, wait, 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 wait. This is what we need. Yeah, 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 yeah. So now we do that. X, X times N. No, something's not right. Not right. So wait, um, so from one to X, if we just use one, then this is a lin linear thing, right? Then here, here is our difference. For each x, ah, I see sum of n plus one. I mean minus one, but this is still weird. So from n equals one to x, we do this. So basically it's one minus one plus 50. The next one is two minus one. This should be correct, but what is this? But okay, let's say here for 50, get 69, for 100, get 110. So something like that. I see. So what we need actually is an expression that's similar to this one. So y equals x uh, power of 1.5 the What am I doing?
probably something like that. So at 100, we still get 100, right? At 50, we get 70. At 10, we get 31. But yeah, this is way too steep on, on the one, because on the one we get 14. So we need to move this one. Yeah, so this is something that I already tried. Which way do I need to go? Oh my god. So this is less steep. So I need point five. I wanted to go through here, but the curve should be a little bit steeper. Okay.
Okay, something like that. But now let's build the difference. Between this and this. So it goes from 1.6, around 50, it's 0.9, and 100, it's 0.7. You need a little bit more steep than that. So the curve should be steeper just a little bit. What do we do? How do we do that again? Like that. This needs to bro be brought down just a little bit. Point 0.5, sure. and higher, so we need to m give the multiplier maybe 8. So at level 1, 3, so 30, 2.7, At 100, we have 103, right. <sighs> okay, on one we get two, basically. On 50, we get 61. On 100, get 102. Okay, this is closer. So now if we take this formula, put it here and here. So yeah, it gives from 2 Let's compare with this one. Here we go. It's a little bit steeper, but it's it's good, it's good. So at 100, it gives 0.7. And at 50, it's basically 1. Something like that. We 
We could make it steeper a little bit, but no, 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 no. I think it's good. I think it's good. I think this is what we need. So again, up to 100. So on one, it gives 1.7. Okay, let's put this formula. Uh, into here. <sighs> so base function is point six times eight, and then x plus ten. And all of that minus 32. Let's see how it goes here. Updates. Do updating. Okay, so at 22 con it will give 32 hit rate. Three, five. Okay. 56 at 66. And at 75 it's 83. Ninety nine, it's one oh one. Let's limit this to something like that so it's a little bit easier to read. This is a little bit weird. Yeah, this is why. Zero point fifteen. Right, where is that? Minus thirty one. What if we do it like that? Well, actually, that doesn't matter because you cannot have zero con. Let's not do that. Minus 32 is going to be fine. Because, yeah, you cannot have zero con, so essentially this line doesn't really matter. We need to start looking into this. 
starting level one, and here we start looking at here. So at one is one seventy actually. What if we do Yeah plus twenty five plus point twenty five? This is a weird formula. This is because we're escaping the first portions of it. Let's see, what if we didn't do that? But instead, we do y equals 8 x uh, times uh, point 0.6 So it's the red one, right? So we need to pull it down a little bit. So maybe seven or six. Yeah, this one's pretty steep. What if we try to flatten it? So to flatten it is 0.5, right? No, 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 this is point eight. At 100 is 100. Here we go. So at 1, 2.5. So yeah, no need of this scrap, no need to move it. We just need it to find the proper curve. And we can probably do 0 0.75 instead. Uh, times three. It will give three on one con. Hmm. Point eight will give us yeah two point five exactly, but on one hundred no on one hundred it will give one hundred. Wait, this is exactly what I need. Let's try that. So two point five and point eight and uh, power of. Uh, Point eight, power of point eight. We just use raw concentration times two point five. Oh, stupid! Everything is much easier.
till rebuilding. Think this is it. One hundred, it's ninety nine fifty three. Ah, uh, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Still, it's fine, it's totally fine. So, yeah, at one con, it's two point five hit rate. If you increase it by one. It will increase the hit rate by 1.85 and then it falls down a little bit. I think this is good. So this formula is what we're gonna use. Yeah, it starts with 2.5 and then increments like that. So at level 32, you're gonna have 40 and it drops to just one uh, hit rate difference per increment. So 40, 41, 41, 99, and so on. And then it drops, drops, drops to 0.8 per level, per, per concentration. Okay, I think this is good. And I know what, what was I thinking with these formulas. I didn't need to move the um the graph i just needed to come up with the appropriate parameters okay so we have this took me way too long but okay so now here Let's say level one, one, one. So hit chance, oh yeah, yeah. And we need to do the same for the evasion rate. Maybe even we can adjust the evasion rate formula a little bit. So, hit rate per concentration, evasion rate per dexterity. Let's put the same formula, melee evasion rate per dexterity. We use dexterity here. And for dexterity, we'll try to make it drop a little bit steeper. Like that. So at 100, you will receive 80. So let's see, at 50, we have 
versus 45.73 let's let's calculate the difference so 45 45.731 divided <clears throat> by 57.163 Seven one sixty three eighty. So yeah, eighty percent basically. Which means uh with each dexterity you will receive 20% less um, evasion than if you would do if you would receive hit rate per concentration. So let's see at level one we have to right yes this is what we have basically in the formula uh, at two dexterity three point Four eight Yeah, let's try this. This should be good. So this is melee hit rate per concentration. We also need to do the same for the ranged. For magic, for now let's use the same, but I have different ideas for magic, for magic hit rate. And this point two, this is melee evasion rate per dexterity, this is ranged evasion rate per dexterity, and magic evasion rate per dexterity. Okay, good. So we have those, and this is our new formula. And yeah, we're back to 85.5. Why is this 0.5 now? All of a ah, okay, because, yeah, 20% difference. Good. So yeah, hit chance is essentially the same. So on level eight, let's try to fight level eight should be as the same but now uh, where is our evasion rate hit rate evasion rate yes this is the same but now wait did i remove that divided by two thing yes i did okay good um but now Let's say we leveled up dexterity, like all 14 points into dexterity. That means that we now have 15% more evasion rate, essentially, uh, on the target, right? If we do the same, we put all of that into concentration on the source, it should actually 89. Uh -huh. So concentration is more effective, especially on low levels. Uh, okay, good. Let's check level 25. And here, level 25. So it's 59, 51 stat points. Uh, yeah, without stat points, it's the same chance. But if we put half of them into dexterity, so 25 dexterity. Not 26 dexterity. That would mean 
and everything else into uh, strength, for example. So 27 strength, 27 strength. We have hit chance 60. So with our, with our 26 dexterity and level 25, when fighting the same monster, we have effectively 40% evasion rate. If this is our character, for example, and we get attacked by this one. And let's see if this one levels up concentration by half, so like 14. Seventy eight point five. If it's twenty six, then the hit chance is going to be higher. Ninety one point seven. This twenty percent drop is very noticeable on low levels, actually. So if we zoom in here. Shouldn't be so so noticeable. But yeah, it actually is. So on ten points, see on ten, it's. 12.619 12.619 divided by fifteen seven seven four. Yeah, it's eighty percent. For some reason it fails More dr more drastically. So essentially, if you have twenty six dexterity, attacker has twenty six concentration. Where you have the same strength, the hit chance actually increases. So for the attacker to have eighty five percent, so basically. No, that's attack. To match your evasion rate, needs to have something like eighteen. Twenty. Yes, twenty. So attacker has to have 20 concentration to match your 26 dexterity. Let's see, level 50. Level 50. Let's reset all of that. So we have 106 stat points. So let's do like 50, 54 here, 54 here, 54 dexterity. So again, we're leveling that up um, in parallel. So if we don't invest into concentration, that means that we would have only 38% chance to hit such target that maxes dexterity basically. And we would need to put, I believe, something like 36 concentration to match now more 42. Yeah, like 41 concentration, you need 41 concentration 
to match 54 dexterity of your target to have the same hit chance and if you do all 54 points into concentration then you will have 95% hit chance which is the cap Here we go. We need 51 concentration to hit the cap. Well, almost. That's a lot of con. Yeah. But yeah, if you didn't level up any concentration, then your hit chance is basically 38.9. Okay, let's check the level 99. Recruit AP with just con. Well, for recruits, for recruits, uh, their accuracy drops with range. She probably should add to this calculator. Like another, we need another line called the range. But okay, that that's for later. So. If you leveled up 99 dexterity, it chances 8.6. If we do f like 30 concentration, it's 44. So, yeah, let's say we have a very dexterous target. They put basically everything. Uh, they max dexterity, they max strength. And you, let's say you are like a normal, I don't know, berserker or something. You also want some dexterity, you want some vitality maybe, I don't know. Let's say you want to max vitality, actually. Then you have 18 points that you can put into concentration, like 19. Um, then you would only have 32% hit chance against the person who maxes up dexterity. Thirty-two. Let's compare the DPS, actually. I'm gonna delete this one because I don't remember if it's up to date. And copy this sheet. And we will invert our selection. So this is 99 dexterity. And this is 19 concentration, 99 vitality. Right, 99, 19 concentration, 99 vitality. Yes, and the other one is 99 dex, 99 strength, and 19 vitality. 
something like that. Let's compare the DPS. So if you are attacking the dexterous target, it will be 38.8 DPS. If it's the other way around, it's 84 DPS. Even though you have like bonus with the concentration. Yeah, that's a lot. It's a lot of difference. Because the the more dexterous target uh, actually has a higher hits per second value, much higher. They have 85% hit chance. And you with your vitality and your defense with only 19 concentration, you hit only 32% of the time. Well, 33. And your attacks are much slower. And you would, if you would put that into dexterity, let's say, Nineteen. Yeah, and the difference is <laughs> right there. So yeah, I believe this penalty of um, where is it? Here. So, even when you do uh, receive a bonus hit rate effectively per concentration when compared to evasion rate per dexterity, it's still gonna be fair, more or less, because dexterity also gives you uh, increase in hits per second. Concentration. Wait, what we what do we do? We increase the balance per, per concentration, right? So let's say this is a ranged um uh, ranged character. They would have ninety nine concentration they would probably also max dexterity. And I don't know, they could put anything else in strength, intelligence, vitality or luck that I don't think that really has a big choice. It will just change the, the play style a little bit. But strength uh, would increase your attack a little bit. Strength gives bonus um, uh, ranged, ranged attack as well, it's just much less than concentration. Uh, intelligence would give you like ability for using skills more. Vitality would allow you to like tank a little bit more. Luck, by the way, I need to change luck a little bit. Uh, luck will give you some additional evasion rate will give you crits so yeah maybe luck would be more suitable for something like recruit so uh let's say we are this guy we are fighting again very dexterous target 
are still gonna hit all the time. Except our evasion, our uh, hit rate will drop based on the range. Uh, calculate hit chance. No, not hit chance. This is actually on the default combat system. What's that hit? Don't remember how that works. I mean, where, where did they define it? Skill attack. Oh, here it is. Um, so yeah, accuracy range. So it's 30% hit rate and at your max accuracy range, max, max distance basically. Max range attack. So this is the, the max range of your ranged attacks defined by your passive, which is, let me see. It doesn't really matter, but I'm just curious. Uh, b -b 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 Rifle mastery at, at the final level, 25 meters. So you will have just 30% of your hit rate at the maximum distance at the 25 meters. I need to add that to the, to the calculator, but but I think we can calculate that. So we have ranged hit rate of 248. We can just divide it by two equals, oops, minus, no wait, yeah, minus this divided by two. That would still be 95% hit chance. Why? Oh, no, no, no. This basically drops to nothing. This is the low cap. So you would not be able to hit a dexterous target at your... No, wait, this is divided by half. Uh, wait, 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 wait. This is minus this. Oops. Minus this times point seven. This is your thirty percent of your ranged hit rate. But still, um, recruits will have passives that will give them more hit rate, more and more. But without that, just pure stats at max range, you will not be able to hit basically a target that leveled up dexterity to the maximum. If we do 60 dex, still you would not be able to do that. 40, still no. Didn't level up anything. That's 8%. <laughs> Yeah. Thirty percent hit rate. Maybe I need to tweak this a little bit. Maybe fifty percent at least. But still, this is at a very high range. 25 meters, basically, if we consider maximum skill level.
Also, the description is not correct. Shutting on the move is not possible anymore. So this should be removed. Just rifle accuracy gets greatly reduced with range. But yeah, I think this is a bit closer to what we need. But yeah, let's say 9.7. Let's say we are hitting... Is that linear? Yeah, that's linear um, accuracy drop. So let's say not 0.7, but let's say 0.5. Yeah, now it's much better. So if you have your maximum concentration, um, And you hit a target that doesn't have dexterity. Doesn't have dexterity. But at maximum range, it will be just 57.6% hit chance. But if they did level up dexterity, like 42 dexterity, It drops to 20%. If they maxed dexterity, you will not be able to hit that for sure. Yeah, just 2%. This is the low cap of the hit chance. Because your effective uh, hit rate is just 124. Versus 228 evasion rate. So yeah, I think this drop that we did of 20%, it's very fair. We could do probably even more, but I think that's good. At least it's, it's going to be a good starting point. For recruits specifically, we would need some accuracy boosters. Well, we have some already. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Let's see, this doesn't have any hit conditions, final shot doesn't have mark target. Mark target reduces the evasion rate of the target. I don't remember by how much, let's take a look. I think it's a flat reduction and it should be adjusted later on, so it doesn't really matter right now. But I'm just curious, status effects, mark target, so melee evasion rate, ranged evasion rate, so maximum level would be minus 350, which is not actually the value, it should be multiplied by 0 0.1, so divided by 10. So minus 35 evasion rate on the maximum level of mark target. Minus 35. That could be substantial. So if we do minus 35, it becomes 15% from, from the low cap at 99%. So yeah, if you're if you put the the mark target, that's gonna be um, if you mark your target, that's gonna be very effective. And it sh aiming aiming shot that's basically double your hit rate, which is again gonna be a very uh, powerful 
So basically this will negate uh, the distance penalty aiming shot. But yeah, it has some casting time and it's just a scale. Hawkeye, this is a buff. So hit rate plus 20%. It cre increases to 50. Aha! Uh -huh. So yeah, if we already do this 0.7 at max range, then Hawkeye will negate most of it. So yeah, I think this is very fair. So ranged hit rate plus 50%, which will end up with times one point, no, 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 no. This minus that. <sighs> How does that work? My brain is not working. I need to... Mm. Yeah, it's gonna be weird to calculate. But just for rough estimation, it's gonna be just times 0.2. It's not exact calculation, but still, it's fine. And it's gonna be 90% hit chance if you mark your target. If you don't, then it's 55% chance. I think it's fair. Probably we can even nerf Hawkeye a little bit if we would like add some more skills that increase your hit rate or something. But okay, I think this is fine. This is working as expected. And yeah, if you max your concentration, target that maxes dexterity wouldn't be able to completely negate your concentration you'll still be, you'll still have 95% hit chance. But if they have some bonus dexterity or bonus evasion rate, then yeah, sure. You need probably something like 92 or maybe even 90 concentration to completely negate no, even not that. To forty eighty six. Oh. Yeah, you probably need like 75 concentration to negate 99% dexterity on the target, which I think is fine. Yeah, because it's not only 20%. It's also the curve. The higher you go, the less evasion you get per each concentration and less hit rate you get per each concentration. So yeah, lower um, 
values of concentration will give you a more bonus hit rate, for example. Which is fine. Because our stats are basically linear, you will receive two stat points per level, plus bonuses occasionally. But yeah, practically it's linear. But this is already good. This is exactly what I wanted to have. I think this is the way to go. So yeah, we're definitely getting a rate of this. We will have a normal difference between Sarah's hit rate and target evasion rate. We're not gonna divide the difference by two. Because on low levels it will... Basically right now on low levels it doesn't matter really if you level up dexterity or concentration for hit and evasion. It's it doesn't really do much. So let's say we are levels 15. Let's double check again. Because this is the levels that are interests that interest me the most. Actually no, let's let's leave that thing. This is the penalty of uh, hitting something at the maximum range. Uh, should be point 0.7 without any bonuses. Now let's do point 0.5 if we do have Hawkeye, for example. So, level 15, we have 29 stat points. So let's say we put 15 into strength and target puts 15 into strength. Um, target puts 16 into dexterity. No, no, wait. If we don't put anything anywhere, just the strength. It's the base hit rate, sure. So if targets puts like half of the stat points to dexterity, it will drop to 69.2%. Okay. And let's say the source puts everything into vitality. So let's calculate that, and the opposite we'll do here. So level 15, 15, 15 strength, and now 16 dex and 16 vitality. And we compare just melee DPS. So if I have 16 vitality, a 15th strength, and I'm attacking uh, an agile uh, target, I will have 69.2% hit rate and about 14.9 DPS. If that target attacks us back, it will have 15.59 DPS. So, comparable, technically. But for your vitality, you will also have more health, way more health. 
So the combat duration would be 14 seconds to kill the, the, the AGL target, but it will take 25 seconds for AGL target to kill you with your defense. But technically DPS is going to be comparable. Again, most likely that would be something like um, an assassin that would have skills aimed for DPS, so that would increase the DPS. They would also ha have some bleeding. Well, this one will have more defensive skills. Um, okay. Okay, I think this is this is fine, this is fair. Okay. What if we put all the points in concentration? So strength concentration. That would increase our DPS to twenty three. And increase our hit chance a lot. So concentration versus the dexterity. Dexterity instead of fit, we do concentration. Twenty four point fifty six. Twenty three point thirty three. Yeah, because we are effectively negated our um the, the target's evasion gained just from dexterity. And this one just has a normal hit chance. Okay. This looks good. This actually looks good. Okay, at level 40, let's say. Eighty four stat points, so we do forty three strength and let's say forty three decks. That's four to seven percent hit chance.
Okay, I think this is good. I think this is good. I still need to test that a lot, but I think this is the way to go. So we do flat comparison here of hit rate and evasion rate. And uh, hit rate per concentration. It's going to be nonlinear. And it's going to be higher. Wait. Uh, then evasion rate per constant per dexterity. I think this is good. I think this is good. But first I, I need to test uh, what we have right now. So then I can compare to, to what we achieved with our change. So here I need to revert to what we had before. Let's restart the server. The problem is I would need to change monster stats because monster stats uh, don't use these calculations per concentration, per stuff like that, they have pre-calculated and predefined evasion rates. So I would have to adjust the monster evasion rates and hit rates based on this formula that we created. Crap. But okay, I, I have an idea how I can fix that real quick. Maybe I can just divide their evasion rate by two and hit rate by two. Well, the bonus evasion and hit rate by two. Probably that's gonna be the way to go. At least that's gonna be like rough uh, starting point. But okay. How do we test this? What do we actually need to test? I already tested like mm, the normal melee hit rate and magic hit rate. We need to take care of magic, by the way. We need to increase magic hit rate. Uh, let's see. Stats. So it gives a little bit of the concentration gives a little bit of magic attack. It gives magic balance. This is going to be a new formula now. Well, actually, maybe it would be beneficial to just level up uh, concentration on the, uh, even on the early levels of mage characters. That would give a lot of um, magic hit rate, but yeah, my idea was to, in general, increase magic hit rate. Uh, 
because yeah, dexterity also increases magic evasion rate. Maybe we can play with that. Maybe dexterity should give only a little bit of magic evasion. And instead the level should be uh, more uh, like effective in this case for magic evasion. Not sure. Not sure I would need to test that. A bit of uh, magic hit rate from int. I don't know, maybe. It already gives magic attack, it gives mana, mana recovery, and magic defense. So it's already intelligence uh, is the most efficient stat for mages to level up, like even to max, ignoring and everything else. So maybe if we'll give like more uh, magic hit rate per concentration, and less magic evasion rate per dexterity. It will give you um, more reason to level up concentration from dex. Well, from dexterity, we already receive a little bit of magic defense. Uh, we receive magic evasion rate, and most importantly, casting speed, cooldown speed. So it's already a nice stat to level up, even early on, because again, this is a exponential function. Let me actually put it in a graphing calculator. So y equals x uh, power of 1.5 times 3. Well, speed is also weird, so it's not the... I think I had a graph for that somewhere. I don't think it's, it works correctly, but let's see uh, charts. Crap, it's loaded. But yeah, maybe it will give us something that we can rely on. But yeah, I'm pretty sure speed is also uh, exponential in terms of um, it's much more efficient on low levels than later on. Well, I guess we would need to wait a little bit. I did a graph for Dex somewhere on Discord. Well, I have it here, it's just, it's very slow. Because it's based on like real calculations uh, using basically this code instead of just uh, like graphs that we can input here so yeah, we would have to wait until it calculates everything for, for the graphs oh, it's already doing something
Yeah, here we go. Uh, we can already make something here. So yeah, casting speed per dexterity. Uh huh. Okay, so it's the other way around. It's more effective on higher values. The way reduction per speed. Uh, wait. So the way reduction per speed decreases uh, per with with the value. But you have, uh, where is it? But you receive the casting speed. Ah, uh, yeah, I see. Yeah. Maybe this is not very correct. Maybe it should be the other way around. Because, yeah, it's more effective the more uh, dexterity you have with each new like point in dexterity. I think it should be the other way around. Cooldown speed per dexterity. What is this? I think I need the third chart. This is speed per dexterity. And yeah, it gives more the more you invest. But delay reduction is the opposite. We need this graph. This is the, the resulting graph. It, if I believe correctly, that if I remember correctly, this is like cooldown reduction per dexterity and stuff like that so yeah, we still need to wait a little bit yeah we need this column and it's still calculating now oh, here we go starting to load Here we go. Uh, yeah, it's weird. Yeah, because we're combining two opposite exponential functions, we receive basically a weird graph. So very low values give you a little bit less then it grows and then it decays yeah yeah I remember now so yeah this graph is a little bit weird so if you're in investing let's say dexterity uh, just to have like a little bit of dexterity just to slightly increase your attack speed on low values, it's not very efficient to do that. You need to invest like more than 20 dexterity first to get to this huge drop, the most efficient portion of the graph right here. So it's somewhere from 20 or maybe from 15 to like 40 maybe is the most efficient uh, zone um, of dexterity regarding the actual like attack speed and cooldown reduction and casting reduction. So like the first 15 points in dexterity don't give you a lot of cooldown reduction. Can we fix that a little bit? This is because of this. 
we have a huge drop of delay reduction per speed. No, 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 this is actually good. Delay reduction per speed. At low levels of speed, you get higher reduction. It's this thing. Attack speed per dexterity. And cooldown speed and casting speed per dexterity. This one is lagging a little bit at the beginning. So maybe we can make it a little bit more linear. And that would get rid of this weird plateau in front. Yeah, probably. But it would make um, higher levels less efficient. But probably this is what we need. We need to make this a little bit more linear. So maybe not based on, uh, where is it? Not based on power of 1.5, but like power of 1.2. Then this, this needs to be adjusted as well. I don't know, but that's for later. This is just the, the speed bonuses. But again, on the low levels, on low levels, let's say level 15. On level 15, if you invest like 15 points in dexterity, you will already receive uh, a lot of evasion rate. So yeah, like 15% evasion rate. Actually, wait. So if we have no stats, TPS 9.35, if we put 15 points into dexterity, 9.35, right? Oh, well, maybe, maybe we can make the speed uh, increase just a little bit more linear. Because, yeah, 100 decks will give you basically 100, no, wait. 100 decks will give you 333 casting speed. Or 200 attack speed. But 50 will give you just 70. Yeah, I'm not sure. Maybe this needs to be actually linear. If this is going to be completely linear, like you will receive 
let's say 300 attack speed at uh, 100 uh, or like yeah, if, if for example here we do 200 attack speed uh, per 100 dexterity on 25 to 25 Wait, what? Ah, uh, dips here. Wait, what? Ah, right. At 25, it's 25. At 100, it's 200. Yeah, I see. So if we would do uh, times 2, it would be 50 right here. If, we, if that would be linear. Maybe that's the way to go. Maybe that's the way to go. In that case, yeah, we would not have this weird portion of the graph. Basically, our attack delay reduction and cooldown and casting time reduction per dexterity would look exactly like this, but scaled. Yeah, I think this is what I need to do. Let me write that down. That's for later because that would need a little bit more testing. So, uh, what do we need exactly? Where is that wiki page? Yeah, attack speed, cooldown speed. Speed per dexterity should be linear. Yeah, I think this is a mistake. This is a mistake. Especially because our stats are linear, like stat progression is linear. Yeah, this is definitely a mistake. But I would need more testing to actually uh, find the correct formula for all of this. But okay. What was I doing? <laughs> I already forgot. Yeah, because right now it's not really fair because if you invest like 15 dexterity at level 15, you don't receive a lot of DPS boost. You do receive some evasion rate, which is nice. But still, you will receive evasion rate even uh, like on the higher levels, quite a lot evasion rate even though it decays, but you will receive much more attack speed. Yeah, it, it's weird right now. Exactly because of, because of this. This needs to be linear. Can I already do this? Because we already figured that out. So this is another file, so this is the old mechanics, but we only need to change here, attack speed per dexterity 
Actually, I did that before, looks like. I have some old code commented out. But I need to match the ends of the graphs roughly. So let's say, uh, actually, let's screenshot this. And I want to match that roughly. So if I want, let's start with what? Cool down reduction, the top one. Cool down reduction should pull this somewhere to somewhere here, 0 0.75. Mm. So roughly it's gonna be divided by three or something, no, by 2.5. This is a tech speed, right? No, this is cool down reduction. Cool down reduction. So let's do return um, dexterity times what? Not times. Well, yeah. Um, times point. How much do we need to pull it? So if I want it somewhere here, let's say roughly point four, something like that. We'll tweak it later a little bit, but for now, it's gonna be like that. So point four, this is for cooldown speed. Now attack delay. Attack speed. Actually, let's move that below so I know that's the latest one. This is going to be return dexterity times what? Actually, this is almost exactly attack speed, right? Attack speed. So 100 attack speed. This one is tricky, by the way, because I needed to tweak it anyway. Because we also have skills and we have a limitation on the maximum speed that the network allows, because we have a very stupid netcode in terms of auto attacks. Um, but okay. So base speed function is 100, no, 100 is 0.5. Let's do 0.75 for starters. And this one, cast and speed, Cast and speed is gonna actually be greater than we have here. So on 100 is 0.5, but here on 100 is 0.25. So times 1.25. Probably I miscalculated that, misjudged that. Oops, actually return. Let's see how the graph changes. So this becomes linear. Google, I, I hope is going to scale this graph, but yeah, now this is linear.
but this should be roughly similar. I don't think it's going to be similar. There's actually a lot of difference. Yeah, I am stupid because this was, uh, okay. I should have chosen this instead. So at 100, it was 333. Uh, this was 200 and this, oh my God, I don't know what was here. Let's revert real quick. Cause yeah, I was changing a different thing. So this one is definitely, remember, at 100 it was 333. So for, no, no, wait, this is uh, casting speed. So casting speed should be dexterity times 3 or 3.3. .3. Let's start with 3. Then for uh, this one, this is attack speed. This is times two, tech speed times 2.0. And the cooldown speed, well, now it's messed up a little bit. Actually, it's four, so yeah, point four. Yeah, that was, that was correct. Or not. Which one is which? I, I don't know. I guess we will see in a moment. Let's let it finish. I think it was the lower. So the 100 probably was 25. So something like point twenty five. Originally I had dexterity times three for attack speed. It's still calculating the old values didn't save. Yeah, it was calculating the old values. Yeah, I can see the change that we did. Yeah, that's definitely not what I wanted. So now let's see. Yeah, now I understand. We can bring this back so we don't have to wait. I think this is roughly what we need. Let's save. And see how that changes our graph. Custom speed is probably a bit too much, actually. No, maybe it's actually correct. This one's fine, this one's fine. I think, yeah, this, this is about what we need. So let's try to put these formulas into this calculator.
and see how it changes the speed. Why did I do this in the first place? Because my original calculations were linear here. But then I, I changed it. I don't remember why. My original calculations were 1 dex gives 3% attack speed. Well, it's not percent, but 3 attack speed, basically. And the attack speed is this. Why did I change that? I don't know. Okay, now I have linear graph here. This is still not updated. I guess we would need to wait for this to finish, then this will start rendering. Yeah, that's definitely the way to go. This should be linear because our delay reduction per speed is actually more effective on lower levels. And we need to do that uh, for, for our stat implementation because our stats are linear. It's not like, for example, in Ragnarok Online 1, where uh, you can increase stats on low levels, uh, on low values, mm, much more efficiently than the higher levels. Okay. This is actually a lot. But okay, let's compare. So roughly we have the same cooldown reduction. It's almost linear. So on 50, you receive 89% cooldown. On 100, it's 80%. Which is exactly what we have here. Actually, I think, yeah, this is what we needed all the way. So, let's see. On uh, To receive 75% uh, of the casting speed, we get why is it out of the window? How much do you need? But yeah, probably something like, I don't know, 12, 15, 12, 13. So you need like 13 decks to reduce your casting time by 25%. Right. This is probably not good. Actually, maybe it is good. So, 100 decks. We 
will give you 75% cast time reduction. 150 dex, we cannot see, but it's like 0.2, like 80% cooldown reduction. Mm -hmm. 100 dex, 66% attack delay reduction. Maybe this needs to be a little bit higher because yeah, especially on low values, it's going to be weird and we need to account for the network delay, which I didn't do a good job right here. Um, so yeah, maybe we can tweak this a little bit. So not 2.0, but this attack speed. 1.75, not 3.0, but, but 2.5. Let's see what that gives. Because yeah, if we have one second, let's say cooldown reduction, it will turn it to 20. Actually, this is good. Actually, this is good. I don't need to do this. These values are more good. Because yeah, our attack speed roughly um, two seconds delay, two seconds with just stats will be reduced to 66 milliseconds, 65 milliseconds. Uh, not milliseconds, uh, 650 milliseconds. It's actually good. It's actually good, I think. But I, w I want to see if I tweak it like that, what would be the result? Come on. Also in the meantime, I wanted to give luck a little bit of resistance against certain status effects like it did in Ragnarok Online 1 that was useful. So how do I do that? I would need to put that here. And create another formula. And another thing that I wanted to do is these static formulas, where is it? Here, they start here. I wanted to put that into a separate class take and then just export to rain uh, automatic build and make it pub publicly available and maybe automatically convert it to JavaScript. <coughs> so yeah, let's do that while I didn't change anything in the server code. So what do I need? What do I need? Combat. We need a new class. How do we call it? How do we call it? Combat system strategy. It's not strategy anymore. In this case, this is combat calculations or 
combat formulas or combat calculations. Let's name it like that. This is going to be a static class. And we put basically all of this crap How do I do that? Just X, I guess. And then Paste here, okay, good. Maybe also this. No, 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 this is not gonna be as easy. So we need to include this, we need to include this. Like that. Also, I can get rid of my old commands here. Okay, is this the new one? I think so. Aha, uh -huh, here we go. Probably this is actually the way to go. So let's see uh, if we have 100 dexterity, it will give 29% of casting time. So if we have something like one second casting time, it will end up in 300 milliseconds. If we have 10 second cast time, it will be just three seconds. Okay. And at 150, it's like point two, right? Tag delay. So at one hundred, it's point three six. I think this is generally closer to what I originally had. It's just on on lower levels, it will give you more. But on higher levels, it will give you less. Mm. But this is good, I think, because we do need to account for the network delay. Especially when you have also some bonus skills that increase your speed. Which is going to be a lot. But yeah, I think this is the way to go. This is actually looking good. So at 50, it's like 53. And it was, yeah, it's like more efficient at 50. Just now we have this drop. And for the cooldown reduction, it's almost the same. Much more linear now. But still. It's now much more efficient on lower levels. So yeah, I think this is the way to go. I will leave it as it is. Casting time though, maybe we can make it bigger. Casting time. Maybe we can do that. Maybe for casting time. 
it is going to be 3.0. That pulls higher. Fortunately, I can't see changes here directly. But yeah, this is going to go much lower. So at 50, it was 0.44. At 100, it was 20, 28, 29. Okay. Let's wait for it to calculate. So in the meantime, we can take care of this. So now we have combat calculations. This can be moved up. Is the documentation, and I will actually remove it uh, as soon as I create an automated way to do this. But yeah, this class is a bit limited in terms of what we can use here. So we can convert it to other programming languages. Also, I need to fix the typos. I use the UK English defense here. While I generally try to use uh, United States English in the code. Okay, now we need to fix this crap. Because now we have a bunch of functions that are not available here. Is there a way to do this nicely? I think there was something in the recent versions of C-Sharp, it's just I'm not following that closely. I can do like extension methods, but that's not it. Assembly globals. Mm. In C sharp six, you can use static imports. Uh, Static imports. And then global modifier to a user directive means that using it applies to all files in the compilation now. Oh, actually, maybe. The global modifier may be combined with the static modifier. Global modifier may be applied. Wait, 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 wait. Adding the global modifier to a using directive means that using is applied to all files in the compilation. No, 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 no. I need that to be applied Using static. Using static directive names, use the static members. This is type what? Using static system. Aha, this, this is what I need. Uh, so uh, let's try. Do I need to put it within the class? No, just in the file. Uh, using static um, server game this does it work?
is the name of the type whose static members and nested types can be referenced without specifying the type name. Then provide a fully qualified type, na type name. Only space. Chart generates an error. Using the static directive. Applies to any type that has static members or nested types. Well, this is exactly what I need, but why doesn't it work? Protection. Ah, I'm stupid. No. Ah, oh, private. Oh my god. Uh, how do I rename? Wait. Here we go. Hey, it works. I love C sharp. So we convert that to public static. Now I have all but all the bunch of public static methods. And now we can use them here directly. Nice. But I don't think it will compile because probably I use this this stuff um uh, in other places of the actually no. All of these methods were private. They were restricted to this combat system strategy. And now I'm just using this combat calculations. And now I can export this this whole class as I wish. But okay, let's rename the defense stuff. Actually, I should have just used find replace, but whatever, it shouldn't be a lot. And actually, this should also apply to other usages. So yeah, this is good. This is good. This can be gone. Okay, so this is our new calculations. So yeah, at 100 it now gives 25% of casting speed. Okay, at 50 it's 40%. It was actually something like 60, no, 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 40, aha, uh -huh. I see, okay, this looks better, oh my god, bots, well, okay, one second, I will update my stream elements, stupidity, but okay. <laughs> and this smug face of clip it in the end. Uh, okay, spam filters. Okay, 
now I bent all of that on a lot of levels. So now let's do this, 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 this. Goodbye, but <laughs> why? <laughs> Six butts in a row. Okay. That was interesting. Okay, so I think this is good now. So again, this is, yeah, three. So three casting speed per each dexterity. 0.25 casting speed per each, uh, cooldown speed per each dexterity and 175 for attack speed. I think this is good. Yeah, attack speed is now a little bit lower, but on the middle levels, it's about the same and it's much more effective on low levels. Casting speed, again, very effective on low levels. So only 25 decks will give you 43% per, uh, casting, uh, casting time reduction. Is that good? <laughs> well, dex is 50% cast time. Uh... 34 dex is 50% cast time. I'm not sure actually if that's good. Previously it was, well, it was like 45 or something. Yeah, I think it's, it's good. 34 dex for a 50% cast time reduction. Low level deck sounds good, but you have sacrifice a lot of raw damage from end stack and for it. Yeah, that's true. So yeah, I think this is this is nice. Because yeah, on low levels, uh, intelligence actually matters a lot. And with this, we will we basically give a lot of boost of casting speed with low investment in dexterity on the, uh, on the low levels. I will need to test that a little bit, but I think this is much better implementation. I feel every stat point not an int at low level. What do I mean? Okay, we separated this. Let me actually save this to keep the history clean, the git history. So combat calculations, calculation formulas extracted into Separate file. I need to learn how to speak and type at the same time. This is really hard for me. But it's a skill that I really want to learn. But yeah, my goal is even at low levels, uh, for it to be like efficient to invest in other stats, not just your main stat. Like, I feel it's it's very bad that, for example, I don't know, if you're a mage, you have to invest into intelligence early on. Otherwise, you will um, f f f f f fall behind in the DPS. 
instead i would like you to be able to like choose your path and choose stats that you want to increase and give get benefit from that like actual observable benefit like yeah intelligence for mages will be important but it shouldn't hinder you a lot if you decide to invest half of the stats into intelligence half into dexterity like probably it will like decrease your raw dps but it will let you be more mobile and avoid some damage stuff like that <clears throat> Okay, we have that. We have that. Yeah, right now I do like 8 STR for armor. Some 4 8 vit for regen def. Some condex. And the rest intelligent. Uh, for, for a mage. Interesting. For a caster priest. Huh. You level up con and dex on a caster priest. Interesting. But yeah, uh, why I started all of this stat uh, recalculation and rework uh, is basically right now for a lot of classes, well, for all the classes, leveling up dexterity is not efficient compared to any other stat. Like y y if you put all these points into vitality, for example, you would be able to take a lot more uh, damage without dying. Luck was also very inefficient, um, but yeah, I'm halfway into changing that. Luck already gives you lucky dodge, it didn't. Um, and I also need to add some more bonuses, like status effect resistances, and maybe a counter for the lucky dodge. Like if I remember correctly, in Ragnarok Line 1, Luck not only gives you, no, not lucky dodge, but critical rate reduction. So, if I remember correct, correctly, in Ragnarok Line 1, luck not only gives you bonus um, critical hit rate, but it, it also negates critical hit rate of attacker if someone attacks you. We, we don't have that. But I think it would be a good idea to add that. <clears throat> but yeah, we changed the way dexterity and concentration affect uh, hit rate and evasion rate. By the way, did I save that in the code? No, I did not. So let's do that now. So we need to get rid of this. Where is my code that I was testing? Yeah, so exactly this. 95 two. Yeah, 95 two. Okay. And then we also have this one. Melee hit rate per concentration and evasion per dexterity somewhere uh so let's see hit rate per concentration so yeah previously it was a linear uh bonus but now we need to use this
and the same for any hit rate ranged hit rate and magic hit rate well we will tweak the magic hit rate later but i'm not sure yet how i think i need to test how this works and then we will decide but yeah now i have that Uh, and we need the evasion. This is the formula for evasion per dexterity. Melee evasion per dexterity. Ranged evasion. Is, is this the same for all three? Yeah. Ranged evasion and magic evasion but yeah for a magic evasion and magic hit rate we definitely need to tweak that a little bit i'm not entirely sure how um probably a good idea would be to put more scaling into uh magic hit rate and magic evasion per level than per the stat but yeah we will see so we did that we did that and we need now to move this calculation uh back to the code as well so yeah Attack speed per dexterity, cooldown speed, and custom speed. That needs to be replaced by this. So attack speed, yes, attack speed. Times 175. Cooldown times 125. And casting speed times 3. Okay. Now let's see, I need to... How do I select the whole file? Like that, copy. Now let's see if I convert it to JavaScript. So I need to, oops. What did I do? Here we go. So I need to replace this with nothing. Then I need to replace this with function. You need to get rid of double. Actually, double in space. And I need this math functions. Okay, we should be good, um, but I want to compare first. Uh, so let's take this one and put here this one. So first, what do we have? Why is this different? Damage reduction per defense. How is this different? Oh, I renamed defense. But okay, sure. Uh, this, this is the same. This is just defense renaming. Okay, good. Defense. And then this was missing in the original one. So yeah, 
everything is good here. So we can copy this file and save it here. But we also would need to syntax error. Ah, yeah, right. I also need to get rid of the classes, the class definition. Right. Okay. And some of this will break because of that defense. Yeah, let's rename defense here. Uh, defense like that. Defense like that. Why is this still a thing? It's not dying an error. Magic defer defense per intelligence. Oh, yeah, we still have that. Oops, oops, oops. No, 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 no. This needs to be. This needs to be renamed like this. Wait. Because this, this method is being used, I need to do a proper... What did I do? Proper renaming. Actually, no, let's just manually fix that. Here we go. Now we need to rename it here, here, and here. Also the same as here. Now what do we have here? Damage reduction per defense, per defense. And this. Okay, we should be good. Yeah, I think we are good. So this is updated. What did they want to calculate? Yeah, I wanted to, to see uh, how much DPS would drop. So for example, if I put uh, everything into strength, We'll have 28.28 DPS, right? If I do 15 strength, 15 dexterity, 
actually 16 strength, 15 dexterity, 23.7, yeah, yeah, it's it rises, hits per second. I'd actually like to see um, like delay, attack delay with applied uh, modifier. Okay, this is a little bit more complex, so screw that. But yeah, the DPS does drop. 23.76 versus 28.7. Twenty but you gain evasion rate. And your attacks are much more frequent. And 15 dexterity. Basically give you 15 um additional evasion rate 15 percent which is not bad so you basically can uh, ignore 15 percent of the damage well not really like more like 20 12 percent or something but still that's good I think this is good. I think this is good. So now it's going to be useful even on early levels. Well, especially on early levels because it's now going to give you much more um, speed per, um, per point of dexterity than it was before. Which is great. Okay, so we did that. Probably I should have separated these changes. Actually, it's fine. I think I still can save them separately. So. Yeah, we have the defense renaming separate from the formula changes. That's good. Wait, I thought that I did more renaming. Probably I saved that previously. Ah, yeah, yeah, I see. I did save that uh, during the whole extraction. So we can combine that. So now we need to save this. Uh, I need to save that in two steps. 
So first, let's save uh, hit rate and evasion rate. So let's start with hit rate. Hit rate per concentration. Hit rate per concentration, uh, non-linear. Okay. Actually, hit rate per concentration and evasion rate per dexterity made nonlinear. Okay, then we did speed per dexterity, made linear instead. Okay, we save that. And the last one is the hit evasion rate hit chance calculation. So, um, hit rate and evasion rate difference. Calculation for difference or hit chance calculation changed. Be more evident. Okay. So we saved that. So now I think we are good to go. We can just test. Well, maybe we can also uh, fix the lock. Oh, actually, actually, it's a bit late already. I need to go. So yeah, let's call it a day. I, I will continue with the lock fixes and testing tomorrow. So let's see. Do we have someone to raid? Maybe someone new? Oh wow, this sounds interesting. Nice, the raid went through. So yeah, uh, let's go check out this person. This looks very interesting, at least to me. <laughs> Extremely interesting. So uh, yeah, uh, today we we changed a lot in the combat mechanics and uh, especially the evasion rate and uh, uh, hit rate calculation um, and also the, the speed calculation. So yeah, that's good. That's good. That's going to be very useful. And uh, yeah, tomorrow we still need to fix luck to be 
a little bit more useful than it is right now. Um, and test everything. Because I believe we have everything. I still need to figure out what to do with uh, magic evasion. Because I want it to be like in the way that you generally uh, have higher chance of hitting the target with magic. Uh, but I want it to be a little bit more intelligent. So probably it's going to be much more dependent on the level instead of uh, the concentration and dexterity stats. But we will see. I, I, I would need to test that. So yeah, thank you everyone for watching and bye bye.